are you doing, guys? So today I'm in Oshiage, right in front of Sky Tree, right there. So I'm gonna show you the signs you commonly see in Japan. So today we are starting from here, Oshiage, around Sky Tree area, and then going to Asakusa area. So Oshiage and then around Sky Tree area is one of the sightseeing spots. And also this area is kind of different from Shinjuku Shibuya areas. Yeah, this area is like a chill and traditional area in Tokyo. So if you wanna chill in Tokyo, you should probably come visit here. Yeah, anyway, let's get started. Yeah, this place, Soramachi, uh, there is a shopping mall here, right next to Skytree here. And then, this place's name is Tokyo Soramachi. Sora is sky and machi is town. So yeah, it means sky town. Yeah, right next to sky tree, there is uh, this cozy river here. So you can chill here, it's really nice. By the way, in Japanese, river is kawa. Kawa, just one character, kanji. And you can describe river. Hey. <laughs> it's Japanese rice. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> so yeah, in Japanese, pigeon is called hato. Hato. There is a kanji like this, but it's not commonly used. People can read, but I can't write it. And most of the time, people write in katakana like this. Hato. Hmm. This is a common way. Hmm, how about that one? In Japanese, oyster is called kaki. The first two characters, it's kaki. Hmm, it's hard. So I can't write it, but I can read it. The next one is ichiba, market. So it's kaki ichiba. It's a restaurant name. Yeah, how about this one? Hiragana is everywhere, so it's easier for you guys to read. Hmm, oame. Uh, heavy rain, toki, uh, time, kawa, river, mizu, water, fueru is increase, kiken uh, is danger, and um, yeah, tachi, tachi iru is enter. This sign is saying don't enter here when it's uh, heavy rain because uh, uh, the river overflow. Mm. Can you guys see the sign? Suito, Suito, Sumida Yokoso. Welcome to the water capital, Sumida. The first one, Sui or Mizu, is water. And the next one, uh, To, is capital or sometimes city. And Sumida is the uh, name of the place here. And the last one, Yokoso, is welcome. So the whole, whole sentence means welcome to the water capital, Sumida. Oshinari-bashi. It's the name of the bridge here. Last one, Hashi, is bridge, as the sign say. Yeah, right next to the entrance is Baskin Robbins. It's kind of interesting, but nobody call Baskin Robbins as Baskin Robbins here. People say 31, 31. I don't know why. Look at the pink one. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> The pink one, the 31. That's why they call it 31. 31. Yeah, uh, there's a shopping mall right next to. Ooh. There's a shopping mall right next to Tokyo Sky Tree. Uh, in Japanese, uh, shopping mall is shopping mall. Yeah, pronunciation is a bit different, but basically it's the same. How about department store? Department store is called Departo. Hmm, that's the different part. And how about supermarket or grocery store? People call it super, just super. Yeah, it's from the English word. Super. How about this one? Food Marche Iriguchi. Iriguchi is the entrance. It's a basic Japanese, guys. And Food Marche, it's a food marche. <laughs> it's French word market, if you know French. <laughs> 
Uh, in Japan, uh, the Japanese people like to use the uh, foreign word, the low words, as a Japanese to sound nicer or fancier. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah, this is one of them. Fudo Marushi. Do you know how to say e escalator here? Escalator. Oh, yeah, that's nice. <laughs> can, can you say that again? Escalator. Escalator, yeah, that's correct. Escalator. It's not escalator, it's not esca escalator. escalator. Yeah, nice. The trash can and pet bottle. It's a plastic bottle. Pet bottle. Pet bottle. And then the black one, bin and can. Yeah, bottles and cans. Pet bottle, bin, can. Yeah, since we are around Tokyo Skytree, uh, there is a ticket counter here. In Japanese, ticket counter. We don't really pronounce ticket T, T sound. So it becomes T. Uh, ticket counter in Japanese. Review. What's uh, going up and going down? Going up, nobody. Uh. Going down, kudari. Uh. Kudaru, noboru, kudaru. 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 It's a car. Uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is kind of interesting. This is Hoshino Kohi, the, uh, the coffee shop. Yeah, this one. Kohi. It's coffee in kanji. I can't write the kanji coffee, but this is how we write coffee in Japanese to be fancy. And sometimes, you know, the restaurants use kanji for coffee can we try this one? <laughs> <laughs> sora to glamping to barbecue sky and to is an right? sora to glamping glamping to barbecue bbq natsu demo fuyu demo whether it's in summer or winter the blue one that one is natsu summer and the brown one for you, it's winter. So yeah, Japan has four seasons, so you should probably remember those ones. How we pronounce sky tree is like sky tree. We don't have to, to sound, so it's really hard to pronounce. So tree becomes tree, and then Tokyo sky tree is a Japanese way to say sky tree. Sumida river walk. Not river, it's river walk in Japanese. I don't think most of you guys know this. As I said earlier, I started uh, at around Oshiage, Tokyo Skytree area, and then going to Asakusa. And on foot, we are walking there. It means those areas are very close, like uh, 20 minutes on foot. So, if you want to travel around this area, start exploring around Tokyo Skytree and walk to Asakusa in one day, it's very possible. And now we are in Asakusa. It's a riverside. Riverside is Kawazoi in Japanese. Kawazoi. People say riverside to be fancy, but it's accepted. So you can say riverside though, in Jap even in Japanese. And then golden poop. Golden poop is there. Ah, golden poop and the sky tree. Yeah. By the way, golden poop in Japanese, golden is ogo no kinno. Yeah, either way. And poop is unchi or unko. It's commonly used, so you should definitely remember this. <laughs> oh, hello! I feel so uncomfortable. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> so, Asakusa, you like like this. Asakusa. Asa is actually shallow, and uh, Kusa is grass. And then people write like this Asakusa. Uh. By the way, here, like uh, there's a mascot here. It's called the Daruma. It's a lucky charm in Japan. It's cute. That one. Shin. Shin Nakamise. Shin is near in Japanese. Yeah, how about this one? Lunch. It's lunch in Japanese. Uh, yeah, the meaning is same as English. But sometimes, or 
Mm, I don't know. There are many ways to say lunch in Japanese. You can say lunch and ohiru or ohiru gohan. Those three are a common way to say lunch in Japanese. Oh, by the way, this, this restaurant looks nice. Lunch. 900 yen. 900 yen. Do you guys know this one? It's actually eel. People call it unagi. Unagi in Japanese. And it's very common here. And also expensive one here. And I love it. Maybe it's interesting for you guys. Yeah, it's a soba shop. And then these ones are the name of the items. Uh, these ones are actually prices. And in Japanese, there's a kanji for numbers. Yeah, look at this. For example, this one, nana, or uh, it's seven. And this circles are uh, zero, zero. And uh, this is yen. So it's actually 700 yen. Uh, and this is eight, hachi. And this is Q, nine. So this one is one, and uh, zero, zero, zero yen. So yeah, it's 1,000 yen, 10 yen, 700 yen, 800 yen, 900 yen, and 10. It's quiz time! What is that? 10. Kanji, kanji. <laughs> it's actually tempura. Tempura? There's a kanji for tempura? Yeah. I have no idea how to write, write it. <laughs> yeah, but we know the kanji for tempura. Yeah, tempura, right? And then now we are in Asakusa and then it's Kaminari Mon. Kaminari Mon. Kaminari is thunder and Mon is gate. So it's a thunder gate basically. Aha, this one. Keuchi Udon. The one in the middle, Udon is Udon. If you guys know it, Udon. And the first one, this one. Keuchi. It's, yeah, handmade, but especially for udon or soba, yeah, it's teuchi and udon. So it's a handmade udon. Mmm, <laughs> sounds nice. So, yep, I am heading to the main hall, Sensoji, and then this street is called Nakamise. And then, yeah, there are tons of shops going on. Now it's exception, it's Corona, so there are not so many shops going on. Mikuji or Omikuji is fortune slip in Japanese. Yeah, it's 100 yen. Let's do it. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Uh, what did you get? 72. 72. Yeah. Regular fortune. Okay. Regular fortune? Yeah. Mm. yeah, you should probably remember this one. Kichi. Hmm, it's a normal. So it's not great, it's not bad, it's normal. Kichi. Yeah, that one. That is called koi nobori. That's actually a fish. Koi. Yeah, that's for celebrating uh, Tango no Sekku here. It's uh, 5th of May. Boshi. Yeah, it's boshi. Hat. And then the left one is shinshi, a gentleman. And this one is ladies and boshi. So it's basically a hat for gentlemen and ladies. Yeah, there is a cute souvenir shop here. Uh -huh. There are cats. Cats are called neko in Japanese. And then, yeah, those are also neko. Sleeping neko. Neko sleeping. Neteru neko. Neteru is sleeping in Japanese. So, neteru neko. And... Ah! Boars. Boars are called inoshishi in Japanese. Inoshishi. Hmm, they are cute. And... Ah! They are mouse. Mouse are called nezumi. Nezumi in Japanese. Ah! And then look at the poor family there. They're so cute. Poor family. Uh, kazoku. Kazoku is family in Japanese. So, Inoshishi no Kazoku in Japanese. They're so cute. It's gonna be a good souvenir. 
Monkey is sad in Japanese. And I don't know why, but. Daijoubu? <laughs> Daijoubu is it's okay in Japanese and it's very common. Yeah, you can use it with your friends. It's very common. It's okay. Daijoubu. When do you use Daijoubu? Konbini. Konbini. Yeah, when they ask me if I need a plastic bag, I just uh, say Daijoubu desu. Uh, Daijoubu desu. Yeah, yeah. That's how we use it. Daijoubu desu. And that's it for today's video. So today I walked from Oshiage around Skytree area to Asakusa and I show you guys uh, uh, commonly used phrases or signs here so I hope it helps a bit and as always if you like this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe and turn on notification or you know whatever stuff you can do here thank you for joining thank you for watching yet again yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video